Are you a person who loves both history and nature? Then you should definitely visit Alula, one of the oldest cities in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. What we loved about this place in Madina was its clear skies, green farms all over, star-spangled night sky and beautiful rock formations. In this road trip, the most unique place we stayed in was at Alula. We stayed at a farmhouse in a cottage next to trees wearing juicy oranges, pomegranates and lemons. The farm was surrounded by rocky hillocks. The owner is so kind that he allows all his guests to pluck fruits from his farmhouse. During our two days in Alula, we visited historical sites like Dadan, Jabal Ikma and Hegra and also Elephant Rock and other rock formations. Today I am going to show you our road trip from Yambu to Alula and also our visits to the lion tombs in Dadan and rock cart in Jabal Ikma. So let's go to the magical Alula. We left Yambu around 10 in the morning. Alula lies about 365 kilometers away from Yambu. That means it will take at least 4 hours to reach Alula. Salt pans. Wow. I don't know what it is. How come salt pan here? Can we get down and check? Salt. Winter Park at 2 pm. Winter Park is the meeting place for people who have booked their visits to the historical sites. You can book your sightseeing tour through the government official website. Buses are available at scheduled timings. Winter Park has all facilities including washrooms, cafes and food trucks of different food joints. If you don't want to go for sightseeing, pick up your favorite burger or donut from Burger King or Dunkin Donuts, then sit and enjoy. It also has a visitor information center to help the guests with their sightseeing tours. The park is open from 9 am to 12 am. After having a quick lunch, we boarded our bus to Dadan, which was the capital of Dadanite and Lehenite kingdoms. There. 
Other than, we were highly impressed by the hospitality of the official staff managing the sightseeing tours. What is that? Thank you. Welcome. Nisha, you don't want? Thank you. This is dates. Uh, Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee. Arabic coffee. Yeah. Okay. No problem, no? This is nice, Isha. You try this one. This is nice. The staff at the museum explained to us almost everything we should know before we headed towards its main attractions, the famous lion tombs and the temple of the main deity, Dugaiba. This is called Holy Dadan. Dadan. Holy Dadan, yeah. Okay. Uh, over there, about uh, several holes in the mountain. But please count from right, mm. uh, sorry, from left. Mm. One, two, three, four, fifth. Mm. The fifth one, you will see the lion tomb. And talking about tomb, there is uh, about 700 tombs. Oh. Yeah. And there's two kinds of tomb. Mm. The, the first one, or the, the first kind, it's a family tomb okay. and the, the second one for one person ah. just like that hole okay so more than one it is a family yeah uh, for example you see that that's, that's one which is big ah. that means it belongs to a family uh, okay a bigger family yeah. That uh, that means oh, that's uh, uh, as a simple to protect the temple. Okay. And the other archaeologists said no, it's not to protect. They were a present uh, to to the god, just okay. like an offer. Offering, yeah. Yeah, yeah. to the god. Yeah. These stones are very old, hmm. three thousand years. Okay. Uh, it's just the same of uh, the same age of the dam. Because of the colors, the layer of colors oh. of mountain. Oh. And the mountain, several colors yes. white, red, black, beige, oh, yes, yes. Uh, even that one behind us. There is many colors. So that explains why this soon many colors. Almost one hour in the van, we were taken to our next destination, Jabalikma, which lies about 6 kilometers away from the van.
Jabalikma is a place which boasts of mountains containing ancient rock art and ancient Arabic scripts. Jabalikma, we were welcomed by Sulaiman from the Royal Commission for Alula. <laughs> <laughs> I will explain in Arabic. Yeah. Then I will explain in English. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. Wow. The group is with us. Right? Yeah, with the group. But uh, please drink our coffee. Yeah. Try our date. Yeah. And welcome. Definitely. Thank, Thank you. you. No uh, I didn't get your name. My name is Sulaiman. 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 Yeah. Okay. I am from the Roa team from the Royal Commission. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. The Roa means the storyteller. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi. Thank you so much. We were quite impressed with the way he explained the history of Jabaligma. You come from Dada, right? You understand a little bit about the Dadanic and Lehianic civilization, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you understand it was a big civilization. Yeah. Ikma, it's also part from the civilization. Okay. But Ikma, it's the open library. We call it the open library. Why? Right? To give us the secret to understand. Also, sorry, the keys to the secret to understand about it. We have more than 189 inscriptions, Lehianic inscriptions. I want to ask you something. If we have the essential, what's the essential to build a civilization? Uh, language, uh, communication, and, communication. Uh, place, water, water, yeah. food, food, and uh, security. security yes. If you have the essential, and you're yeah. now we are trying to look, you understand the human, the human love to uh, look for more, yeah. look for what the accessories. What's the accessories of a civilization? Music is the accessories. So this is the uh, accessories for any civilization. We have evidence of a musical instrument. But you saw it. And also, we have evidence of the inscriptions. Tell us a little bit about the social. Also give us a little bit a peek about the religious aspect of the uh, religious, political, and social life of the Lahianic and Tadanic civilization. Okay. Now we're gonna see the inscription. I will tell you. Uh, I'm not. I don't know all the inscriptions, so I don't want to be a liar. But I will just uh, translate from you one inscription, and because we have women here, they will give me the indication about what the inscription give us. Okay. About the life of Saturday. Uh, okay. Good? Yeah. I can already guess what it can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Shabab? 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 Saudi, we still use it as until now. Ah, what is it? Uh, okay. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. It's a long walk, so be please bear with me. Yeah, yeah, I. And uh, I understand it will be it's an archaeological site. Ah. So there is some rules. Please follow it. Yeah. No climbing, no smoking. Yeah. And walk with the path, please. Yeah. So this walk. We're going there. Yeah. Yeah, it's walking. You will love it. Do you see this? This is the shape of the inscription that you will gonna see in front of you. Uh, 
riding the camel, shooting the arrow. Do you see oh, yes. it? Yes, yes, yes. You see it? And there is dogs, small dogs surrounding yes, it. Yes, it's hunting. It's hunting. Because dogs are there. Yeah. So what that give us? He mm. stayed almost three hours only mm. just to give you that he's a proud of this moment. Ah, that. Just like now, uh, he's uh, want to keep it as yeah. a memory or want to be, be, uh, keep it as immortal. Yeah, maybe he was a strong hunter or something. That's it. So, yeah. uh, why they chose this place? Why they chose this place to write the inscription? Because it's hidden. Hidden? Nice. Yeah. But also, imagine with me this. Yeah. If it's rain, yeah. there is a water pour from here. No. The water became here. Okay. And it's a flood, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, it's flooding down. When it's raining very heavily, mm -hmm. it will be just like a spot for water. Ah. The camels come and drink it mm -hmm. and see it as a way to You want to take a picture here? Alila. Behind you will be the gorilla. Alila, it's a good boy, huh? There you are. Hey, Allah, Shay. SubhanAllah. It's a beautiful view. SubhanAllah. Give Allah gorilla. After spending another hour in Jabalikma, the bus took us back to the winter park. By 6 pm, we were tired and headed towards the farmhouse. This uh, owner is a retired teacher. Really? This is our room. And this is kids' room. So that's all about our first day in Alula. In this video, I have tried my best to give you a beautiful outlook of this place. But nothing can beat the experience you get when you personally visit this amazing place. If you need any details of our trip, please write in the comment section. We'll try to help you as much as I can. So, it's time to say goodbye. We'll take you to Hegra and Elephant Rock in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.